It's a simple question. Why are there no vertical super smelters? So with any super smelter, you have an input, you have fuel, and an output. Now the trick comes when you want to make it vertical. Because if you think about it, if you put a furnace right here, then you no longer have this hopper. Problem number two comes along when you put a furnace below it, and so you lose the output hopper. So then you're kind of stuck. You have no output, and you have no input. Granted, you, you can still put in the fuel. So where do you go from there? Introducing the hopper minecart. Eh? Eh? It's a pretty good solution. And it looks so cool when you like... Uh, here, here, just let me show you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, scale 1 out of 10, I'd say that's like a solid 7. The main reason I say it's a 7 is because, well, I, I accidentally made like 12 smithing tables. I was trying to make some hoppers, but I guess I just clicked the wrong button. Anyways, I don't know if I explained it super well. This bottom hopper mine cart, it's gonna suck stuff from this furnace right here. This one sucks from this one and so on and so forth. So now we can pull stuff out of the furnaces, even though they're stacked on top of each other. And, and, get this, get this, ready? We can add the fuel in system right here so i think we just need uh, yeah a uh, chest it won't like divide it equally that's a bit of a problem but if we like fuel it up with sticks right we can have a lot of sticks then we can just have it freely back up amongst all these hoppers and then everything should be fine now you might be saying hey hey wreck you still need to like automatically put stuff into the furnaces and boy have i got a solution for you I actually have no idea how to do that. If any of you know how to put items into these furnaces automatically, please let me know. Because here's the thing, to put in fuel like into this slot, um, here, I, I need to demonstrate this. So we have a furnace, right? And we need to put something in this slot right here. And the only way to do that is to put a hopper on top of the furnace. Not a hopper minecart, trust me, this doesn't work. See, if we put something in here, it's not gonna put it in here. How unclean in here, I had two reasons for building this thing. Number one is because I've had this sitting in my creative test world for probably a solid month now. But number two, I wanted to see if any of you know how to do it. Remember, we already have a hopper minecart inside of the furnace. So if you have stacked furnaces, is there any way to put stuff in automatically? Because right now my current plan is as well to uh, go in every, every furnace and just uh, manually put it in. I know, I know, th this video is misleading. Technically, it's not a super smelter. Actually, wait, 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 let me free rephrase that. What is a super smelter? Does a super smelter have to be automatic? If not, I mean, this is definitely super and it's it's a smelter. <laughs> We're still not done though. Even though like we have the functionality done, it, it looks terrible. Dude, this actually looks so menacing. These two jack-o'-lanterns just staring you down. What do you think though? Personally, I feel like something's missing and I'm not quite sure what. Maybe another couple of stairs. We go bam, bam. Maybe add just a little more. Maybe just a little more. Yeah, I think that looks pretty impressive. To be honest though, this thing is mainly just gonna be for show. I, I don't know how often I'll just come here and I'll want to right click in every single furnace. But I mean, who knows? It does automatically take it out and automatically put fuel in. So I guess only time will tell. <laughs> Last episode, we built this super sweet mob farm. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but I finally think I have a way to kill him. Here, let's just turn it off real quick. And it, it's like nothing special or anything. Uh-oh, uh-oh, nope, 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 don't. Yeah, so I, I literally just dug it a little bit deeper so that I didn't have to add any lava or anything. Holy, dude, I haven't even gone AFK. I mean, I wasn't planning to go AFKing, but this is exactly what I wanted to see. Look at this. Not even all the drops are landing in the hoppers, but look at that. Oh, that is so cool. And I know I'm totally going to forget if I don't do it now, so we're flicking it back on. And maybe the next thing we do is build a sugarcane farm, because as of now, this is where I'm getting all my sugarcane for my rockets. It might not be, like, terrible, but I built this in, like, episode three. So let's just keep that in mind for a future project. <laughs> 
So, funny story. You know how we just built, like, a super smelter in here? I have no plans to use it. The original idea I had with this giant mob farm is to cover it in snow. Okay, test numero uno. Dude, that actually... Dude, yes. <laughs> Boom, dude. <laughs> that looks sweet. Hey, Wreck. The top is no longer spawn proof. I'm actually totally fine with that because it looks super cool and I'm not really planning on AFKing here. I don't really care if it's not running through the night. I just want some passive income. <laughs> and tell me what you guys think. I have noticed that a couple of mobs will like stick around uh, in this area. So I think they're getting onto this orange stuff. Do you think we should expand this one more? <laughs> I know this is probably boring stuff to talk about, but it's important stuff, my Discord channel. I originally didn't want to have a Discord channel. I only made it because somebody offered to make one. And I wanted to make a Discord channel for you guys because I was like, oh, well, I mean, they can like post fan art there, they can chat. But I feel like nobody's really getting that great of use out of it. I mean, let's be real here, guys. The only thing that gets posted in that channel is people saying, this is a dead channel. So are you ready for my brilliant, amazing plan? I'm gonna make a new Discord channel. Okay, that, that might sound a little counterintuitive, but hear me out. The main thing that I like the Discord channel for is to receive fan art. When you guys make a, a picture of like Echo Craft or me or something, I wanna get that. So I'm gonna delete the channel I already have and I'm gonna make a new one and I'm gonna call it, wait for it, the P.O. Box. Honestly, I don't know what P.O. stands for. Probably like personal office or something. But that way, you guys can send me all the fan art you want. And maybe I'll have a channel in there for self-promotion. Because th those are the two things that people use. It just feels a little lame having all those different channels that are like the questions and answers channel. And I, I, I never look in it. If it's not useful, if I'm not using it, cut it off. So here's the announcement, guys. I'm going to be cutting off that Discord channel. Just like this ice, the Discord channel's going. Thank you.